What's up everyone? I am out here at another one of my favorite spots at Disney Springs, Pizza Ponte. Got myself the big Roman. It's a giant slice of pizza. Delicious. A classic Coca-Cola. And I also went to, uh, before I came here, I stopped at the Plight Pig. Got some of their Brussels sprouts because they're delicious as well. But uh, yeah, just out here for a little uh, Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna do an unboxing video right after this. There's the uh, Brussels sprouts from Plight Pig. That classic Coke. And then the giant slice. Oh, is it delicious? Also brought my new water bottle with me. I love this one. It keeps it pretty cold too. It's like double layered. I uh, bought this at the World of Disney store here. And for some reason, the only place out of the Patina group that's open is uh, Pizza Ponte there, or I was just inside. Uh, Marie and Enzo's is still closed over here. Not sure when they're gonna reopen. And uh, the same goes for Enzo's Hideaway down below here. They are still closed as well. Hope they reopen soon because I love Enzo's Hideaway and I would like to get back to Marine Enzo's soon. Great, uh, great food there. And then over here to my, uh, my right, the Edison is uh, still closed as well. <laughs> All right, just got done with my pizza. I came over here to, uh, well, Pinterest is like right behind me here. Found this little area with some benches and tables outside. This is a uh, brand new mystery pin collection. I picked them up a few days ago down here at uh, Dizzy's Pin Traders here at Dizzy Springs. And it's an eight pin collection, their open edition. And I call it the uh, Safari mystery pin collection. I think they are part of the other Mickey and Minnie open edition pins that recently came out. I'll pop a uh, photo up here in case you guys missed those. Uh, but yeah, those came out last week here at Dizzy Springs, the Mickey and Minnie open edition pins, retail price on those is $10 each. Uh, but yeah, I think they go along the lines of these pins. At first, I said they were Animal Kingdom pins, um, but there's nothing on these that say they're from Animal Kingdom. It looks a lot like them, but you can kind of see here in the back, it looks like the Tree of Life. Uh, but I think it's just a Safari mystery pin collection. But uh, yeah, there's the eight pins on the back. I'm really excited for this set. There are a couple in here that I want to keep for myself. I want the one that says Go Wild with uh, Mickey's holding the bird. It looks similar to the open edition pin that uh, just came out. And I also want the one that says Safari Squad. I think that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, these are pretty cool pins. Just came out, uh, retail price $15.99. They're on preview at the last pin trading night here at Walt Disney World. Um, so yeah, I knew they were coming. I just didn't know when they were gonna release. Here's our two black mystery bags. Let's see what we get here right off the rip. Feels good to be doing an unboxing video down here at Disney Springs. I don't think I've ever done one down here before. Oh! First one right up the rip, one that I really wanted. It's the Go Wild one. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I'll, I'll show them a closer look at the end. I'm not sure how, I'm filming this on my iPhone, so I'm not sure how the camera's picking it up. But uh, yeah, that's the Mickey Go Wild. He's holding the bird, just like the open edition pin, which I have that one at home. But uh, yeah, that's a keeper for me, I like that. And they had a ton of these last week whenever Pin Traders first opened. And then I went back in, I think, uh, two days ago, and I, I couldn't find any of these boxes left. So someone came in and scarfed them all up. There was a ton, too. They had, like, one whole entire row full of them. So they had a lot, but I, uh, I didn't see them. I didn't go back over to spray, uh, Pin Traders today, but I'm going to head over right after this video, and we'll take a look and see if they're there. Okay, our uh, second one here features Chippendale. It says, Tour Guide since 98. So maybe this is an Animal Kingdom collection, because didn't Animal Kingdom open in 1998? I think they did, right? There's the uh, Chippendale. And I'm not sure if these are going to be released at Disneyland as well. I feel like they will be, um, because like I, I, again, like I said, it doesn't really say anything on here specific to Animal Kingdom. And usually the top of the boxes will say Walt Disney World, but it just says Disney Park. So that's why I think it's gonna be a uh, both coast release. Okay, our first one there, we got Mickey Mouse and Chippendale. Let's get into box number two here, Let's see what we get. Our third pin, oh, our first double, dang, Chippendale. First 
freaking double. All right. Please don't be a Mickey in this one. Oh, it is bad luck so far. <laughs> Springs is giving us bad luck here. Box one and two, exactly the same. Okay, hopefully our third box gives us a little uh, better luck here. I like the artwork on the box too, with uh, you know Mickey and the gang and a little Jeep vehicle on the safari. I like it a lot. All right, what do we have? Oh, something different. We got a, another Mickey pin, but this one says official tour guide. And he uh, has binoculars, and in the binoculars you can see the uh, different animals and like the tree. Like he's out in the safari, looking around. So yeah, that's a nice one too. We got three out of the eight on to the next mystery bag. What do we have? Oh, we got Goofy. A, another unique here. And uh, this one says, always be prepared. Has Goofy reading the uh, little map there. It's like the safari map. I didn't show the back some of these yet, but it's a uh, silver tone finish. Open edition, Mickey waffle print. Uh, the official pin trading logo for 2020. We have four out of the eight with one box left. Can we get two more uniques? We will see. I hope so. I would like to get that other one, the Safari Squad one. I love, I love that pin. All right, here we go. This one feels uh, a little bigger. What do we got? Oh, okay, we got Minnie Mouse. It's a unique. And this one says, Born to Explore. Again, this one is related to the other two open edition pins that released because Minnie Mouse here is holding a little butterfly in her finger, which is a uh, similar pose to the open edition pin. So there it is, Born to Explore. A little uh, butterfly there, just like that open edition pin that just came out. Has a nice, uh, what is it, like a cheetah print background on it there. Very nice pin. All right, our final one, guys. Let's see what it is. Our final pin. Oh yes, this is the one I really wanted. The Safari Squad, I love this one. Okay, this really reminds me of Animal Kingdom. I know you keep saying that, but uh, this looks like Kilimanjaro Safari. The, the Jeep, the vehicle there, and it looks like Tree of Life in the background. So maybe this is a Walt Disney World exclusive. I really don't know. I guess we won't know until uh, Downtown Disney opens up over in Disneyland in the parks over there to see if this set arrives on the West Coast. But it's really looking like an Animal Kingdom pin set. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm so happy I got this one and the uh, Mickey Go Wild, the two that I really wanted. So yeah, good unboxing there. We only got two doubles, and uh, we got six out of the eight pins, so I'd say that's pretty good. All right, here's a closer look at the pins now. Link is below for the blog post at Jason Pins Blog. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.